Windows 11 is evolving fast, but so are its background processes, tracking systems, and hidden power-saving features that can choke performance. If you're gaming or editing and feel your PC stutters for no reason, this video is for you. We've compiled the latest hidden tweaks, registry edits, and network optimizations to unlock FPS and system responsiveness in the July 2025 update. These are safe, reversible, and fine-tuned for performance, including some GPU registry secrets at the end. Let's get started. Tweak 1. Enable GPU Scheduling – Hardware Accelerated Modern GPUs can offload some of the frame scheduling tasks from the CPU directly to the GPU hardware. This reduces render queue delays and improves input responsiveness, especially in fast-paced GPU-bound games. Steps. Right-click on your desktop and select Display Settings, or go to Settings, System, Display. Scroll down and click Graphics Settings. Under Default Graphics Settings, find Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Toggle this option on. Click Yes if prompted by user account control. Reboot your PC for the change to apply properly. This is required. Optional but recommended. Update to the latest NVIDIA or AMD graphics drivers before enabling. Use Display Driver Uninstaller DDU, if you want a clean installation for best results. Tip. To confirm it's working, press Win plus R, type DX Diag, and hit Enter. Under the Display tab, look for Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, Enabled. If it's missing, your system might not support it. Only available on supported GPUs with Windows 10 2004 Plus or Windows 11. Results can vary, but it's generally a safe and worthwhile performance game. Tweak 2. Disable Memory Compression Windows 10 and 11 use memory compression to optimize RAM usage, compressing unused memory pages instead of writing them to disk. While helpful for multitasking on paper, this process introduces latency and CPU overhead during real-time workloads like gaming, music production, or streaming. Disabling it can free up responsiveness, especially on lower-end CPUs or stutter-prone systems. Steps Press Start, type PowerShell, right-click Windows PowerShell, and select Run as Administrator. In the PowerShell window, enter the following command, Disable-MMAgent-Memory Compression. Press Enter. It should execute silently if successful. Now reboot your system. This is required for the change to take effect. After rebooting, you can confirm it worked by reopening PowerShell as admin and running get-mmagent. You should see memory compression equals false in the output. Optional reversal. If you want to re-enable compression in the future, Run Enable-MMAgent-Memory Compression and reboot again. Result. Improve system consistency and responsiveness during gaming, multitasking, and even basic desktop usage. For latency-sensitive tasks like first-person shooters or competitive titles, disabling memory compression helps reduce unexpected input or frame lag from CPU overhead spikes. Tweak 3. Network Throttling Index – Remove Streaming Bottleneck Windows applies a default throttle on how fast it allows multimedia applications like games and video apps to process network data. This cap can limit bandwidth bursts, delay packet handling, and cause ping inconsistencies in online gaming. Disabling it allows real-time apps to use the network fully, improving response time and download behavior. Steps. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and hit Enter. Navigate to the following path in the Registry Editor. In the right-hand pane, right-click on Empty Space, New, DWORD 32-bit value. Name the new entry, Network Throttling Index. 
Double-click the entry and set the value to that's 8 Fs. This is hexadecimal for the maximum possible value. Click OK to save the change. Close Registry Editor and reboot your system for the change to apply. How it works? This disables the Multimedia Scheduler's internal bandwidth limiter. By default, Windows tries to balance quality of service across applications, but for online games, that balance can get in the way of pure speed and timing. Removing the cap improves how quickly data is sent and received, especially in games that rely on fast, repeated server communication. Tweak 4. Fix interrupt steering for low latency. Let's bind your CPU to GPU-based interrupts, improving latency. Steps. Open Registry Editor. Navigate to Set or create Win32 Priority Separation. Value 26, hex. Make system more responsive by prioritizing active apps. Tweak 5. Ultimate Power Plan. Hidden Option. Windows has a hidden Ultimate Performance Power Plan. Unlock and apply it. Steps. Open CMD as admin. Run. Then go to Settings, Power, Additional Power Settings. Choose Ultimate Performance. Eliminates aggressive CPU throttling. Tweak 6. Clean up Xbox services and background game features. New Windows 11 updates added even more Xbox-related services. Let's disable hidden ones. Steps. Press Win plus R, services.msc. Disable the following. Xbox Live Off Manager. Xbox Live Game Save. Gaming services. Game DVR and Broadcast User Service. Also remove the Game Bar Presence Writer via Registry, if not already done in older videos. Reduces background game telemetry and service usage. Tweak 7. Registry. Prioritize game tasks on Windows Kernel. Force the kernel to prioritize game-like workloads. Steps. Open Registry Editor. Navigate to Update or Create GPU Priority to 8. Priority to 6. Scheduling category to high. Directs Windows to treat game tasks like high-priority workloads. Tweak 8. Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Full screen optimizations sometimes cause input delay or weird frame pacing. Steps. Right-click your game's .exe file, Properties. Go to Compatibility tab, Check Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Click Change High DPI Settings. Check Override DPI Scaling Behavior. Then choose Application. Improves Input Latency and True Full Screen Performance. Tweak 9. Disable Core Isolation. Memory Integrity. Core isolation is a security feature in Windows that protects system memory from unauthorized access by isolating critical processes. It's especially useful for preventing certain types of malware attacks. However, it can add overhead to CPU performance and increase system latency, particularly in games or creative workloads where every millisecond counts. By disabling memory integrity, part of core isolation, you can free up CPU cycles and reduce micro-stutters caused by background validation processes. Steps to disable memory integrity. Press Win plus S, search for Windows Security, and open it. In the sidebar, click Device Security. Under Core Isolation, click Core Isolation Details. Toggle Memory Integrity to Off. You'll be prompted to restart your PC. Go ahead and reboot to apply changes. Important warning. Disabling memory integrity lowers your system's security posture. This setting is designed to block low-level exploits and kernel-based attacks. If you're frequently browsing unknown websites, 
downloading unverified files, or running apps outside of trusted sources, consider keeping this feature enabled. Tweak 10. Three GPU registry edits for higher FPS. Let's finish with three fresh registry edits that directly target GPU behavior. A. TDR delay. Prevents GPU timeout crashes. Go to Create D word TDR delay value 10. B. HW shed mode. Reinforce GPU scheduling. Location Edit Create D word HW shed mode value 2. C. Disable NV telemetry. NVIDIA users only. Go to Create D word NV telemetry enable value 0. These help reduce GPU crashes, input lag, and telemetry related stutter. That's it! Your July 2025 Windows 11 FPS Boost Kit, packed with hidden tools, network boosts, and deep GPU level tweaks. These aren't placebo, they're tested, clean, and reversible. Don't apply them all at once, test one by one and measure. If this helped reduce your stutters or gave you smoother gameplay, let us know in the comments. Drop a like, subscribe for no BS optimization content, and check out the channel for more pro tweaks. No tools, just real fixes. Until next time, stay sharp and stay fast.